Hey everyone, it is time for this week's Windsor Real Estate Market Review. I have this week, I have last week, let's dive in. So let's start with inventory. We added a little inventory on the week. Um, we are sitting 695 units of inventory. That was up from 679 units last week. So that's 16 more units available for sale. They are, of course, all more expensive houses. Um, we don't have any inexpensive houses in the city of Windsor. They're, they're just all gone. Nothingness. You're going to see that in a minute. Looking at our data sets, we listed $44,733,000 worth of houses. Last week was 40 million. So because we're in the summertime, we've got 4 million more houses listed this week. We sold 48,715,000 for an exceptionally dynamic and strong Windsor real estate market. No matter what you read anywhere, it's exceptionally strong. No matter what the interest rate is, that's why interest rates can go up sky high. It's not going to matter because we continuously find money to buy houses. So where were we last week? We were at $45 million last week. $48 million. $3.6 million more sales this week than last week. Pretty darn strong. How many under bid? We were 17 under bid. Or 17 under ask. Last week we were 16 under ask. No real significant change, still a very strong over market. So when people call me and say, hey, I want a special deal, I want to negotiate my pricing point in the city of Windsor, I'm like, where do you read that you could even do that in the city of Windsor? Because it's impossible. For the most part, it's impossible. Makes it very hard to work with somebody like that. And they'll never get a house. Because the one that they find that they really, really love is the HG, HGTV house, and they want to go and pay less for it. It's like, no, 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 you don't understand. The realtor priced it at $399, even though it's worth $700,000. You're going to have to bid $700,000 to get that house. Let me show you. Let's see here. There you go. $399, $455, $399, $460, $374,9, $450,000. $399,950. Was there any other silly ones here? No. All the rest of them are pretty good. Well, here, but as we get more, 574, 724, 599, 725, 749, 749. Hey, that was right here in my neighborhood, right here on Barclay, 2518 Barclay. Um, so you can see how you're going to have to pay over because the realtors are still using the marketing game of pricing a house less than what its market value is and driving multiples to it. Otherwise, nobody goes to see the house. That's why they do it that way. Nobody will go see a right-priced house in the city of Windsor. They just don't. Because everybody sits there and says, oh, hey, that house that's priced at $724.9, it's in my budget, but I don't want to pay $840,000 for it, um, so I just won't go see it. It's a weird process of how we market houses here in the city of Windsor. But let's dive into the rest of the data set. So 62 over, so 78% of our market was over, 21% of our market was under. $4.2 million worth higher listing. So here's what the clicker is that is very hard for all of you. I have two clients that are talking about mortgages next week. And um, 
One of them only wants to spend 500,000. The other, I don't know exactly what they want to spend, but we'll figure that out and we'll find them a good house. However, average listing price in the city of Windsor for the week, average listing price, total number of listings divided by total number of, total number of listings added up, the 44 million, divided by total number of listings, Average listing price was $566,246. That's the median. That's the average. That's the So half of the houses were below that price, and half of the houses were above that price. What was it last week? It was $501,144. So half of the houses were under that, and half of the houses were over that. Okay. That number's gone up by $65,000. You can see that the Windsor real estate market is doing exceptionally well. We're in our summer selling season. It'd be nice to sell some of these $566,000 houses, but there's more data. Let's, let me show you. So looking at the data sets, we sold $48,715,000 worth of houses. And our average selling price was $616,000. $616,000 was average selling price for Windsor Essex County, or Windsor LaSalle Tecumseh. Keep it simple. That's what I keep. I, I keep it simple. Last week's average selling price was $556,000. That is up $60,000 in a week, folks. Windsor is not a cheap, inexpensive market anymore. It's back to the same price as every other housing district across Canada. We are the same price as every other place across Canada. If you looked at the average selling price across Canada, the, Windsor is the pinnacle of the average selling price. We are the number. So, why? We've got beautiful weather here. It's going to be... Um, 80s and 90s all this week. Sunny blue skies. If you looked out my window here, it's sunny blue skies. If I moved my camera, it's sunny blue skies. And everybody in Canada is retiring or can work from home. And they're all like, why in the heck am I working from home where we get three inches or seven inches or 17 feet of snow per year? Why am I shoveling my roof every year? This has just got to stop. It doesn't make any sense. Let me move my family to Windsor, and that's what's happening. Traffic here is getting to be very, very difficult. It just is. It seems every day I go out and show um, a particular client houses at 315, and I'm like, oh, here I go again. Gonna be sitting here in traffic. It's just become very, very difficult. But that's good, too, because my retail store has had the best month ever. I've done over $4,000 of sales in my antique store. In my little 10 by 10 booth. Is there any retail organization with a 100 square feet that you know of that's doing over $4,000 <laughs> a month in sales? No one! That's a phenomenal number from a retail perspective. So good that I'm actually opening up another location, but that's beside the point. Um, as you know, we realtors can do lots of different things. And I'm one of those weird ones that likes to do a lot of different things because I have a spouse that lets me do all kinds of other things too. And yeah, the vacuuming does need to get done. Totally agree. It'll get done. So back to looking at the math here, sorry. So 616... 652. Now, when we think about what we've done, and, and I'm going to show you this for this reason. I sit here and look at this and say, 556 by 5%. That means that last week, the average person in the city of Windsor spent $27,800 $27,800 to sell their average house. So the commission for the 81 units that sold was $27,800. Average commission. 
It's a hell of a lot of money, isn't it? We're approaching $30,000 to sell your house at this 5% market. So when we look at this number over here, 616, just keep it simple, by 5%, it's $30,800. To sell your house at five percent commission. Now, does that make a whole heck of a lot of sense? It doesn't cost three thousand dollars more from one week to the next to sell your house. We have video photography, put it out on the MLS, and price it right at lower than what its market value is, and we get you some offers, and you decide if you're going to sell your house or not. Pretty darn easy job, actually like to do more of it. So what I do that's different because these numbers don't make any sense, the tax man takes, and keep in mind this is divided by two. There's always a buying realtor and a selling realtor. It's very rare that a realtor double ends a house. Very, very rare. Doesn't happen very often. It's nice when they do, but it doesn't happen very often. So 30,800 divided by two, is $15,400 per realtor on each side, each half, they call it. But let's take a look at what where that money goes, 15,400. If you're the listing realtor, you have about $1,000 roughly. You've got about $500 of photos and video, assuming you do video. Then you have about $500 of marketing bump up. Assuming you have a marketing agency like I do, I've got Media Duo, one of the largest marketing agencies in Windsor, that bumps up all of my listings. It's why they always sell. The more eyes I get on a listing, the better that listing does for my client and the better it does for me too. So, and then we've got, let's call it $500 worth of time or um, fuel, um, Every so often there's Toronto Realtors that come in and I go over to all of my listings and I let the Toronto Realtors in. So I wanna meet them anyway. So, so we have about 1,500 of cost, all right? So 15,000. Now, of this 15,000, most realtors are in a bricks and mortar brokerage here in the city of Windsor. We haven't changed that yet. Windsor is a little bit behind. So $15,000 and 25% of it goes to their broker of record. For some silly reason, don't know why we do this, but we do this still this way. Right? So that means that 15,000 minus 3750 is 11,250. Now, every realtor is generally, unless they're incorporated, they're in a 50% tax bracket. So they lose about $6,500 of this to the tax man or tax woman, depending upon how you would otherwise associate them, using some of these correct words. So they end up netting about 6000 oh, keep it simple, about $5,500. Huh? $5,500. Huh? $5,500. That's the selling realtor, the, the, or the, that's the listing realtor. Um, the selling realtor might only get lucky and only show the person one house and all of a sudden it's sold. Who knows what their costs actually are, but they've got all the driving around costs, they've got all the wear and tear costs on a $60,000 car because cars are not cheap any longer. Um, so yeah, there is more cost to the driving around realtor. Um, and the time and all of that. So there's lots of different factors and all of that. So what I do that's different is I sit there and say, wait a second, $15,400 is a lot of money because it only costs me $1,500 to sell a house. And I don't have this bricks and mortar thing going on. Don't have to do that. I'll get smarter than every other realtor just because every other realtor wants to do this for some stupid reason and don't know why. So for me, all I've got is I've got by uh, 
eighteen percent. I've got two thousand two hundred and fifty of cost here until I get to twelve thousand cap, and then I get a hundred percent. My broker doesn't get any more than twelve thousand dollars a year. That's it. That's dollars a month. That's all my broker needs. And then I also get stock options. I get lifetime income. And I get willable share. To transfer on to the next generation as well too. So it's like owning my own business. I also get revenue share for any realtors underneath me that are also selling houses. Every time they sell a house, I make about five to $600. I don't have any realtors underneath me as of yet, but that's coming. I'm getting there one step at a time. I probably should do it now. Um, it just makes me a better realtor, but that's okay. So with real, the largest, and by the way, real is the fastest growing Real estate brokerage in Canada. Fastest. More realtors are waking up and saying, why in the heck am I paying my broker of record $3,750 to sell a house? What are they doing for me? They're doing absolutely nothing for me. They're just processing my paperwork and I can process my own paperwork. We have these funny, amazing things called computers now that do all kinds of that fun stuff. And once you learn the system, you just do it the same way over and over and over again. It never changes. So instead, for me, I just got smarter than the average realtor. That's why I've got all the degrees and designations as well, too. I tend to be a little bit smarter. Just is what it is. And I get all these other wonderful things. So for me, joining and being part of the fastest growing real estate brokerage in Canada has its benefits too, because I'm dealing with top producing realtors all across Canada who are referring people moving to Windsor to me. Hello, makes perfect sense, doesn't it? So anyway, back to this whole plan. So for me, instead what I do is I come in and if you're selling, I give you back 20% of the commission. So that $15,400, instead it breaks down, it costs me about $1,500 to sell your house. That's my, my cost. I cover that cost. Okay? So $15,400 by 20%, is three thousand three thousand eighty dollars that you get back right? so I only make twelve thousand three twenty it's all it costs you for me to sell your house huh now I still have the 1500 that I gotta pay. So I have 10, eight. Then I have to pay my broker of record uh, 22. Where's 2200, it's not fully correct, but 8600 minus the tax man, I'm still in a 50% tax bracket right now. I'm getting ready to incorporate, it's getting done. Um, and so that 86 is 43, right? So I get 4,300 to sell your house. Okay, so 5,500, 4,300, that's $1,200 difference. But my clients are getting this on closing. They're getting a check on that average selling price house. 
So it's three thousand dollars, basically three thousand dollars cash back if you think about it that way. But it's not marketed that way. It's twenty percent of the earned commission. So whatever the commission is, twenty percent of it goes back to my selling client. So if you've got a house to sell, you're not on the market yet. You would like a professional realtor with degrees and designations who understands the Windsor real estate market and compound and assign and get your house sold for top dollar and understands what top dollar is in the market because I pay attention to it every single freaking week. If you're looking for a realtor that's actually in the know about what's going on in the Windsor real estate market and you have a house that you would like to sell and you would like 20% cash back on closing, then give me a jingle. 519-995-6145, 519-995-6145. If you happen to be a buyer, great news for you today. Buyer. Because I don't have brokerage fees like every other bricks and mortar person does, I don't have those fees. What I do with buyers is 10% of the earned commission. So let's say that we buy a $500,000 house that pays me 2.5% commission. That's $12,500. On closing, you get $1,250. For working with me to buy a house. It's that simple. No other realtor is doing this. And the, oh, I have to be careful with that clause. Very few realtors in the city of Windsor are doing this. Most of them have a bricks and mortar backing. So they've got all kinds of high fees and everything. They don't have stock options. They don't have willable share. They don't have a brokerage that they're owning themselves. They're still in that whole hierarchy of whatever they're in. So for me, if you're a buyer, if you're looking, if you're watching this video and you're in the process of wanting to get started buying, give me a jingle, 519-995-6145. 519-995-6145. We'll dive in, find you a great house. Um, if you're a seller, give me a jingle. We'll get your house sold. 519-995-6145. Because I just don't have the same overhead costs as other realtors here in the city of Windsor, which gives me an opportunity to be able to lower those commission costs. Last thing about commissions, and I need to touch on this in this video, commissions are always negotiable. We cannot demand, it's illegal for us to demand a commission. We can sit there and say, look, I just can't do it for that. You're going to have to call a different realtor who may be interested in doing that. But if you want a realtor who understands, who has a lower cost structure than other realtors in the bricks and mortar brokerage business here in the city of Windsor, then give me a jingle. If you would like your house listed by the fastest growing real estate uh, brokerage in all of Canada, give me a jingle. I'm more than happy to pound in my sign in your front yard and get your house sold. Thanks for watching. Market is exceptionally strong, doing exceptionally well. 519-995-6145. Have a great day. Bye-bye.